Hello, I'm Tom. And I'm Christina. Welcome to Movies in a Minute. More or less. This is the book to movie. Yes. Uh, ver uh, edition. Adi yeah, version. Edition. Yes. Thank you. And we do not know no. which the other picked and who wants to go first. Well, or, uh, background. Yes. So <laughs> we like, yes. you know, books are kind of our thing. Yes. Movies are kind of our thing. Mm -hmm. So they're usually books and movies are on the same topic. So mm -hmm. we are picking some good ones that we enjoyed that were books and movies. Mm -hmm. Preferably we liked both. So, oh, okay. Or just kidding. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or ones that were just... We'll just find out what yeah, happened. Yeah, so, sure. So I'm going to pick... Uh, so I picked... I'm not going to pick just off... I, I picked A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline L. Engel. And that movie... Well, the book, sorry. The book is over, I believe, over 50 years old. I've read that book probably at least a dozen times. First time I read it was in third grade. It has stuck with me. It is still a classic. Some of, some parts of it is dated. So the movie came out, I believe, last year. I think. I think it was one last, or two years ago. It was last year or two years ago. So it had great actresses. So Reese Witherspoon, Mindy Kaling, Oprah, and Oprah. Oprah. Um, Everyone gets a car. So I wasn't a big fan of the movie. I thought the direction that was given to the actresses were wrong. I thought, I thought, like especially Reese Witherspoon's character, she was Mrs. What's It. Uh, in the book, she is really strong and awesome, and I thought she was flighty in the movie. Mm -hmm. And did Oprah, see and Oprah can be in real life. She can be awesome and menacing. Mrs. Witch, who she plays needed to be more menacing and i she think was giant she was giant but the i think that what tri what got lost in translation was a little bit of the darkness and the grittiness that's in the movie might and, have been purposely lost yeah to make it more. as much as the thing is I, disney is great but i think sometimes like mm, should should they have made should they have adapted this book and to pull a tom i have yet to read that book that's okay. I look forward to you when you read it and Come you and tell ask me, me about it. And you tell me it how it is. It has been on my list for is. a long time. Yeah. But I did not know what was going on in that movie. Like all of a sudden there's like a green like grassy bird. Oh yeah. It was just like what is Yeah, that? see in the book it was this really weird centaur. I mean, I don't know. It was it's a lot of CGI. Yeah. Well, read the book and watch the read, movie. Read the book, watch the movie. I mean, if, yeah. Let us know. If you didn't like the movie, I can't stress, please read the book. Don't judge a book and by it, its movie. Yes, and if you read the book, I mean, give the movie a try. But yeah, I thought it was just meh. I'll be honest. Okay, uh, your turn. So, I actually loved the book and the movie, um, A Monster Calls. Yeah. Yes. So the book is already sad enough because it was yes. originally made by an author, but she died before she was she finished. I didn't know that. Yes. So then her author friend finished it for her. That's a good and friend. I know. And it was like so I pride myself in formally being steel eyed, like nothing can get to me. Mm. And I was just like mm -hmm. crying mm -hmm. in that book. Mm. And then I watched the movie and even Liam Neeson as a tree, I still cried with that movie. It was, it's it, they're both beautiful and well done um, in their own way. And the actress who is in Rogue Felicity One, yeah, she is. She plays. She Jones. plays. I knew it. She plays the mom. Oh, yes. Yeah. And it was one of her. It was a really good role. I mean, she does pretty good job. Like, um, we should do that sometimes. Her as RBG. Yes. Also. Oh yeah. yeah. But uh, it's just really well done. It's a a mom who's sick and a boy who's dealing with the grief and the um and the changes that are coming i would recommend it for both the movie and the book for middle schoolers and up and middle schoolers love sad things so mm -hmm. they'll love it and definitely good talking points for the for family sure. like yeah how to deal with when a family member gets terminally ill yes and not just yet yeah, not just sick but terminally ill and, and that happens and so yeah and if you've either read or watched that um, I think we might have talked about this before, but I Kill Giants is yeah. amazing and a definitely good read alike slash slash watch alike for those that combination. Okay. Huh. Okay. So yeah. So check them out. Come and see us. Tell us what you think. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.